What's up my comic comrades? I hope all you guys are doing well. Now recently, the fifth and final movie within the DC animated movie universe continuity was released. Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. And let me tell you guys something, this movie was amazing. Speaking of, a bunch of you, and I do mean a bunch of you, have been tweeting to me and commenting on my personal Instagram asking me to review the movie. Well ask and you shall receive. Recently, Tim and I shot a spoiler-filled review which you could check out right here. And while I'm plugging our content, I also want to mention that in our most recent podcast episode, Tim put me in the hot seat, so to speak. I'm talking about, he asked me the tough questions. Like who would win in a fight, Goku or Superman? Who do you like more, Thanos or Darkseid? And the ever so popular question that I've been asked for years, what comic book publisher do you like more? DC or Marvel? And let me tell you, I answer in full detail. I don't give a BS answer like it's a tie. I actually pick one. So if all of that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely check out our podcast simply titled Variant the Podcast. We're on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and we even have a separate YouTube channel called Variant the Podcast. Of course, links for all of that is going to be in the description below. With all that said, back to today's content. John Constantine was easily the heart and soul of the Justice League Dark Apocalypse War movie, and it really showed how powerful this occult detective is. Which got us thinking, let's do an episode that shows just how powerful this dude is in comics. So that's exactly what's about to go down. Now, like I say for all these types of episodes, I'm not going to mention every single cool power and feat Constantine has showed over the years in comics. So as always, this is just going to be a greatest hit, so to speak, of some of his coolest powers and feats over the years to give you guys a better understanding of just how powerful Constantine is. So let's dive in. Kicking things off, we have the time that John blasted back the embodiment of mankind's evil like it was no big deal. Keep in mind, there's a lot of evil men in the DC universe. A lot, so that's extremely impressive. He literally said, down boy, sit, to the embodiment of mankind's evil like it was a disobedient dog. John could also do things like generate a demon from his soul all Etrigan style. John even says, it's time to fight evil with evil, but the only way to do that is to uncork a spell so complex and so bloody dangerous that no magician in his right mind would ever attempt it. Except for Constantine, of course, turning him into an almost carnage looking demon. John goes on to say it's called the Black Mayor Curse. It drills down into the deepest pits of the soul, unleashing all the darkness there. Rage, corruption, violence, debauchery, etc. Creating his very own personal blight. Yeah. That's kind of scary, and not nearly as cool or as powerful as being able to generate a demon from your own soul, but he could also turn lighters into flamethrowers, which is definitely something that would be useful, but also an awesome party trick. Moving along, John is also capable of creating portals to the afterlife. That's right, he can create a bridge for life and death. It's all sorts of weird and creepy, but it could also be very useful considering he puts himself in some weird situations. Similarly, Constantine can create portals between the material plane and the between, which is the place between realities. I mean, imagine being trapped in the between, the place between realities. That is not a good day. Even more impressive than that, we have the time that John escaped Earth 2. Dr. Fate even said to him, Constantine, once again you astound me. You must be mad to open a gate between universes on such a scale, and to think you could do it alone? You'll never succeed without me, World Walker, not without fate on your side. Basically what's happening is John opened a gate from Earth 2 for himself and a group of people to safely travel through to get to Earth Prime. And he did it alone. As far as sorcery and magic goes, this is extremely difficult. Even Dr. Fate was like, you're mad for thinking you could do this all by yourself, John. But guess what? You did it. Moving on yet again, John is such a master at the occult, he was able to ripple a spell strong enough to destroy all of London. And probably an obvious one, but I had to at least give one example. John is highly capable of killing demons. And I'm talking about this dude just walked up to a demon once and ripped the spine out of his back. Said demon was also a city level reality warper. Keeping things moving, Dr. Fate is arguably the best sorcerer in all of the DC universe. That is just a fact. You can debate whether he's one or two, but he's one of the best, if not the best. With that in mind, Constantine once put on the helmet of fate, and once on, it's incredibly hard to get off. But John was able to use his wits and magic to kill Dr. Fate and release him from the helmet. Now this is comics, so the word kill is a very loose term. Characters always come back. But the point is, he defeated Dr. Fate and got off the helmet. John even once became Shazam. He just used his magic to temporarily borrow Billy Batson's voice, so when he spoke the word Shazam, he would become Shazam. We even see John with the power of Shazam rip a demon in half. It is amazing. Now, I would imagine the average fan doesn't associate Constantine with speed, but guess what? He's actually incredibly fast. I'm not talking about Flash level fast, 
but he's still fast nonetheless. This was demonstrated when he was able to tag the god of vampires, Andrew Bennett. Since vampires are incredibly fast, this means John has superhuman speed, or maybe even subsonic level speed reaction. His precognition skill is also pretty incredible. So much so, he was able to predict the Crisis on Infinite Earths event before it happened. Now, if you were wondering how smart John Constantine is, let me just say he was able to outwit Batman when they were in search of Swamp Thing. The guy has even outwitted Darkseid and biblical entities such as the Archangel Gabriel. Then as far as durability goes, check this crap out. John has been shown to literally just brush off a building size explosion when he was caught off guard. The dude has even been tossed from space to Earth by Darkseid and survived. Hear me, he was tossed from space to Earth by dark side and survived. You know how space shuttles need all that thermal protection for re-entry back to Earth so they don't burn up? John just literally uses his magic to keep him from burning alive. Not to mention he just fell from space to Earth and got up like it was nothing. And the last feat I'm gonna mention to really drive home just how powerful John Constantine is, is the time he used an incredibly powerful magical defense technique to protect him and a bunch of other people from Darkseid. Literally Darkseid was strong enough to pierce his hand between universes from Earth 2 to Earth Prime, but Constantine was strong enough to hold off his attack. Again, as far as sorcery and magic goes, that is all kinds of nuts. The dude held off an attack from Darkseid, one of the strongest villains in the entire DC universe, all by himself. He literally saved Earth by himself. But there you have it my comic comrades, just several examples and feats of Constantine over the years to really drive home just how powerful he can be. And again what inspired this episode was the Justice League Dark Apocalypse War movie. Constantine is a complete and utter badass in that movie. You guys just definitely have to watch it. Constantine is awesome in it as well as everyone else. And once you do watch it be sure to check out our spoiler filled review right here. And just like that, that unfortunately brings today's episode to a close. But as always, if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe, like our videos, and comment. It helps us out. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.